duelists it is i hell gear and this is my marincess deck profile for post legendary duelist 9 and i am very happy with the boost blue maiden and aqua got from this set most of the cards may knock you into water monsters but you don't really care because the boards you can make can almost laugh at nibiru Remember to like, sub, and bell. Let's count the cards. So, beginning this off with our main deck, of course. I'm starting it. It's going with the triple Marincess Pascalis. This essentially is our extender on summon, special summoning another Marincess from your hand in defense position besides herself. And... You can banish this card from the graveyard during your main phase to add a Marinsa spell or trap from your graveyard to your hand. Each effect is once per turn. Turn. She is our good extender and works very well with our copies of Blue Tang. You only need two of this. I've been looping two Blue Tangs and the third one just, you don't really need this. Blue Tang is our play starter on summon. Foolish Burials, a Marincess monster, which we'll talk about that one really quick. And then, when used as a link material for a Marincess link monster, excavates the top three cards off of the deck. And if one of them is a Marincess card, you can add it to your hand. Shuffle the rest into the deck. The main card you're going to be dumping off of Blue Tang is Seahorse. You can special summon this card from your hand to a zone a Marincess Link Monster points to once per turn this way. During the main phase, except this turn the card was sent to the graveyard, banish it from the graveyard and special summon a water monster from your hand to a zone a Marincess Monster Marincess Link Monster points to. This is really good for getting into the other madness this and just helps you extend further. I play a crown tail in here. You mainly want crown tail in the graveyard. So when your opponent attacks you, you can banish her from the graveyard. And for every Marincess Link Monster in your graveyard, you can block 1,000 damage per Link rating. And at one time, if you Link Climb right, You'll be able to block 6,000 damage. New to the deck is Marincess Spring Girl. I'm running two copies of this. You can banish a Marincess monster from your graveyard to special summon this card from your hand. If sent to the graveyard as material for the link summon of a water monster, you can send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the number of Marincess monsters you control. Then, if a Marincess card was sent to the graveyard by this effect, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each one. Each effect is once per turn. Spring Girl giving you another extension is just wonderful because you know this deck, you know duelists love their extensions, man. Marincess girls got more extensions than, than Black Woman's Weave. I play one Mandarin in his deck. Just to give us another extension, if you control two or more Marincess monsters. While this card is in your hand, a graveyard, target a water link monster you control, and special summon this card to a zone it points to, but banish it when it leaves the field. Two copies of Sea Star. This essentially will help you get one of your monsters an additional 800 attack when they swing at it, and you can discard it by Alright, for the boost. You can do this up to twice per turn. Two copies of Basilima. This lovely lady, if she would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Oh, excuse me. If a monster you control would be destroyed by grave by battle. Banish this card from the graveyard instead. This gives you that battle protection so you can keep something alive and then each of the following effects is once per turn you can banish a marincess trap from your graveyard to add a 
different Marinsa's trap from deck to hand. Or if this card is banished, target a face-up monster you monster you control and give it 600 attack points. Banishing it for a different Marinsa's trap, and I do play three Marinsa's traps in this deck, is a very nice touch. Another newbie to this deck is Sleepy Maiden. Sleepy Maiden can protect a card when she's special summoned and as long as she remains in the monster zone. Oh, so she can protect your field spell, which is a wonderful thing. You can... Thing. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target a Marincess Link monster you control and equip it to a Marincess Link monster from your graveyard. Each of the effects of Sleepy Maiden are once per turn. All right. You can also target a Marincess monster you control and special summon from the hand. So not only is this a level 5 extender you're only going to run one of, but while she's on the field she can protect the card. The rest of the water generic support we have for more extending. Two Tangy Spirit Shatana and two Sea Nettles. Again, these are going to be your extenders. Shatana if you have no effect monsters and Sea Nettles if you control a water monster. The hand trap of choice is Effect Veiler. If you want to use Imperm, go right ahead. But I personally like Effect Veiler. I really don't mind if Duelists draw. But activating monster effects like taking 1200 damage off of the Sword Soul token. I gotta shut that down. End of the spell game. Two Battle Ocean. <laughs> we already know how good this card is. You want to get to it. And you will get to it in your plays. It's a 200 attack point boost. For your Marincess cards and a Marincess monster that is that you have where mm, a Marincess link monster that has Marincess monsters equipped to it gains 600 attack for each one then if you link summon a monster using Marincess crystal heart it's unaffected by your opponent's card effects and that is just beautifully done one of the best new spell cards in this deck is Marincess Dive. If you want to play a third one, you can always take out one of the two Battle Oceans. Activating this card, which is a wet, which means one effect a turn, locks you into water monsters. Again, being locked into water monsters means nothing. And you can activate one of these two effects. Target a non-link Marinsus monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Or if Battle Ocean is on the field, it can Stratos a Marinsus monster from your deck. Extensions for days, folks. We know what Call by the Grave does. I don't have to explain that to you. Duster for the back row. Since we're doing a lot of link climbing, World Legacy Succession will get us a special summon off of a link monster next to one that it points to. Sign at mining because it is just such good, such good cyber support. And we wrap up the spell game with two copies of Kyrie Yushin, which can rota out the torrential tributes. And when you use torrential tribute, you can banish your Fury of Kairu Sheen so it becomes a one-sided wipe. Or, if somebody wants to hit your monsters with Lightning Storm, you can banish this card from the graveyard to protect them. For the trap game, three copies of the best trap in the deck, Marincess Wave. This is our negation. And if you control a Link 3 or higher monster, which you will have no problems getting on your board, you can throw this from your hand, and it's just that beautiful. I play one Marincess Cascade. 
Banish any number of Marincis Link monsters you control until the next standby phase. Then target a face-up monster on the field. It gains attack equal to the total Link rating of the monsters banished to activate this card times 300 until the end of this turn. Again, if you've got the Link through your higher Marincis, you can pitch this from your hand. The last trap in the deck that I'm playing is a copy of Marincess Bubble Ring. If your opponent declares an attack, you can negate the attack and special summon Crystal Heart from Extra Deck or Graveyard. So if you do use Crystal Heart during your Link Climbing, this trap can bring it back from the graveyard to use again. You can banish this card from your graveyard then target a link to Marincess monster or higher that you control. It can attack a number of times each battle phase up to its link rating, but your opponent takes no damage this turn. All right. All right. Bubble Ring is a one activation a turn, aka an oat. That wraps things up for the main deck. Very happy with how this deck can play. Let's get into the extra deck. Now, for the extra deck, you are going to need two copies of the following three monsters. Two Blue Slug, two Sea Angel, and two Marincess Coral Anemone. These cards at two will help you set everything up in your deck, and if Access Code Talker decides to wreck your joint, you can just build everything back up all over again. On Link Summon, Blue Slug lets you add a Marincess monster in your graveyard to your hand. Sea Angel on Link Summon will search out a Marincess spell or trap. More times than not, you're going to be searching either Battle Angel, or excuse me, Battle Ocean, or if you don't want to search that, or the other spell that I like to search off of this when I'm not searching Battle Ocean is Marincess Dive. Coral Anemone will get us a water monster with 1500 attack or less on Link Summon, special summon to the zone she points to. Again, locking you into water monsters. You don't care about being locked into water monsters, folks. And then when she's sent to the graveyard, you can get a, a water monster back to your hand. So between all these different forms, you can go through your two blue tangs and just bring them back to your hand for follow-up on the next turn. One Crystal Heart. One Crystal Heart is all you need in this deck. And with Marincess Bubble Ring Trap card, you can bring it back. back. And any of the next monsters you Link Summon, Using it as material, Battle Ocean makes it essentially untargetable, like your Marbled Rock. Target a Marincess card in your graveyard besides herself and add it to your hand. Then, each of the then, since this effect is once per turn, when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can send a Marincess monster from your hand to the graveyard. For that battle, monsters cannot be destroyed and you take no damage. The next newbie in here is the Link 3 Coral Triangle. Get that off of my card. This Link 3 is actually really, really cool. No puns intended. You can send a water monster from your hand to the graveyard, add a Marincess trap from your deck to your hand. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon a water link monster from the graveyard, from the graveyard, oh excuse me, more than one, whose link ratings equal exactly three. So you can get two C, you can get a, essentially two slugs or a sea angel, two angels and a slug, or you can get like one of your deuces like crystal heart or coral anemone and then get one of your slugs back. Or you can just get Marble Rock back. <laughs> you can only use each effect of Coral Triangle once per turn. 
And again, she locks you into water monsters when you use her effects. One copy of Wonder Heart, just to give us that extra oomph when we go into fights. The fights and even special summons, one from the back row. Bubble Reef for more recursion plays. And of course, it's a little bit stronger going into our plays. The newest Link 4 is Aqua Argonaut and <laughs> the fire, the firewall dragon arrows are lovely. When this card is in the extra monster zone, your opponent's monsters cannot attack any monsters except this one. You can use each of the following effects of Aqua Argonaut once per turn. And these are some really cool effects. Once per turn, target a water monster you control and a card your opponent controls and return them to the hand. So you can bounce threats. <laughs> During your opponent's turn, when a spell, trap, or effect is activated on the field as a quick effect, you can special summon one of your Marincess cards equipped to this card. And if you do, negate the activated effect. And that's a lovely thing. One area of the Water Charmer Gentle, in case somebody gives you a Lava Golem or Contact C, Shark and Toad wrap up the extra deck. We already know how good these cards are. Building a wall with this deck is essentially the best thing that you can do. And when you do build your wall and you have like Dive, you can essentially go through some insane boards. I'm going to enjoy playing these test hands for you. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this Marincess deck profile. Expect to see a lot more of this deck because uh, it is that good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, sub, and bell for more. But for now, I take my cards to the box because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.